Welcome to Next Level Intel. Do you wish that when you're creating data in a row that once you type in in one cell, it will auto-populate some information in the other cell? Well, we're going to teach that to you today by doing a VLOOKUP. Come join us. <laughs> As you can see here, we have our lemonade stand data, and it looks a little different. We have blank cells in the I and J columns for unit cost and unit price. That is because we are going to be doing a VLOOKUP to show you how to automatically pull that information based on the type of product each customer bought. So the first thing we're going to do is we double click in cell I2 and we start every equation in Excel with equals VLOOKUP. And as you can see, it's right there ready for us to click on. So right now it's asking us what the lookup value is. So we want to look at the type of product that they bought, which is small, then comma. Then we want to look at the list that we created that has the price and cost of each product. And we are going to use that. Then we hit comma. And now it's asking us for which part of the table that we're pulling from will we look at to get our information. And because we're looking at cost, we're going to go one, two, three. We're going to go to the third column since that is where the cost is. Type in three comma. Then it's going to ask us true or false. And we want to say false because we want an exact match. And then we always end our equations with a parentheses. And as you can see that our cost is 50 cents. So all we should have to do is drag down and oh no. So as you can see, there's something wrong with the formula that we did. So let me go back up. In our formula, you can see that B2 to D13, which which is the table we're pulling our information from, is not locked, which means as I pull it down, it is going to pull from different sections and it's not pulling exactly what I'm asking for. So all you have to do is click F4 and you see that the dollar sign showed up. That means that it is now locked and it's not gonna move when we pull it down. So we're gonna do the same thing with D13 F4 and hit enter. And now we're gonna come over here and when we pull down autofill, as you can see, it all works perfectly fine. So now we're gonna do the same thing for unit price. We're gonna double click in cell J2. We're gonna hit equal V lookup, double click. So now we're still looking at type because that's gonna tell us our price. So we're still looking for cell C2, comma, and we're still gonna go to our price list and we're gonna pull from here. Now we do not need product because we are pulling from type. So whatever you're pulling the information from, is the first thing that you have in your table. Right here is type, because it's gonna look for the information from left to right. So that is why we use B through D instead of A through D. Then we're gonna hit comma, and this time we're looking at price instead of cost. So we're gonna go one, two, and we're looking in column two, comma. And again, we're gonna put false because we're looking for an exact match. And then we end our equation just like every other equation with a parentheses and we hit enter. I'm gonna go back and look at my equation. And as I remember from doing the unit cost, I need to go up to B2 and hit F4. And then I need to go to D13 and hit F4 again, hit enter. And then when we come over to unit price, we should be able to autofill. And now we have all of our information. Now we know this is correct because if I go over to Joe's Smith, who ordered a medium lemonade. If I change that to a large and hit enter, it changes the cost and the price of that lemonade. So now you know how to do a VLOOKUP and that should save you some time when you're dealing with your spreadsheets by adding some automation into those spreadsheets. Join us tomorrow on this journey of our lemonade stand data as we show you more quick hit tips. From here at Next Level Intel, thank you, happy learning, and God bless.